Welcome dear creatives. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this fascinator that is showing on your screen right now. It is a simple crinoline fascinator. If you're a beginner, this is best for you. It's as easy peasy. So these are the materials that you need. You need the very flexible millinery wire. You know, the one you can easily bend it, a very, very tiny one. You need your scissors, your plier. You also need, in this case, I'll be using my um, lighter and my candlestick yeah because they just took the light so i'll be improvising with that and then i have this crinoline pipe so now i'm going to just pass my millinery wire the flexible millinery wire through the crinoline pipe the the measurement of my crinoline pipe is one yard i'm using one yard in this case and remember the pipe is very very stretchy so you can actually um, put in longer length of, of millinery wire than what I'm actually doing now. But I don't want it to be too big or too long rather. So I just want us to make that very simple fascinator, easy. And you won't even be needing your needle and your thread in this case. But of course, you can still fasten with your needle and your thread. But for a beginner, this is easy peasy, easy peasy lemon squeezy. <laughs> So now I'm going to cut off this part of my millinery wire that is sticking out of my crinoline pipe using my plier. Now I have two types of plier here as you can see the normal plier to cut my millinery wire and I have that small flat nose plier. That one is just to help bend my millinery wire at a particular point in time. So you need to keep watching to understand every step all the way. Okay, yeah, it is easy, but you shouldn't miss any step. Okay, so keep watching and learning. Remember to practicalize. So please watch closely at this point as you can see i'm taking certain measurements and the measurements i'm taking is six inches so i'm going to just take six inches and at each point of that six i will just bend it this way so if you keep watching you will understand okay So next, I will now start bending at the center of each of the six inches. Do you understand? So each of the six inches, I'll bend at the center the way I bent the six inches. I hope you understand. Okay. If you do not understand any parts, if you have any question, feel free to ask in the comment section. 
and if this is your first time of stopping by thank you so much please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button so you will not miss out on any of my weekly diy videos that i drop every wednesday by 3 p.m okay now if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back thank you so much please like this video as you're watching whether you're a returning subscriber or a new subscriber whichever one just watch and like and comment and share and ask your questions i'll do my best to answer you okay So at this point, I'm just um, attaching my glue and then gluing those two points together, okay? So I'm just trying to make sure that it glues very well. That's why I'm still pressing it and waiting for it to be properly glued together, okay? So make sure you use the right glue. If you have this candlestick glue, it is quite firm so you can use it. But if you have any other glue in your, in your region or in your area, that is very good, that will do the job well. Feel free to use it. So what I'm basically doing here is just embellishing with some tiny roses. Feel free to embellish with whatever beautiful embellishments that you have at your disposal. Okay, so um, while doing this, I need to tell you about my two weeks intensive fascinator making training. It is online. It is easy to follow you don't need to break the bank to be able to afford the training it is very very affordable okay now this is one of my students um 
exhibition. She was in May online fascinator making training in May. Yeah, she joined in May in the two weeks intensive fascinator making training. And then can you see she already went for an exhibition and she has been selling and selling. Now she's just one out of numerous students that have been doing well after taking the two weeks intensive fascinator making training. So especially if you're a beginner, that training is for you. So there are very easy fascinators you can make and the nitty gritty you know on how to make fascinators and a lot of other things you learn how to prize you learn how to take your pictures to come out very neat and beautiful you learn a lot of things in the training you learn how to sell okay so you're learning how to make fascinators and how to monetize okay so it's not your regular fascinator making training you should be part of that training so even if you're not a beginner there are also unique fascinators there that you would learn how to make and then reformer minds has other short courses that you can be part of just in case you do not want to be part of the two weeks intensive training okay now you can be part of that training by sending me a message through the whatsapp number that is showing on your screen right now you can also just drop a comment in the comment section and tell me you want to be part of the training and you will be added to the group after the necessary procedures. So at this point i was actually done with it but i usually do not like fascinators that are too simple you know yes except once in a while so i was done and then i felt like ah, it's looking too simple like i had already attached the elastic band of camera and all of that because i'm in most of my videos i explain how to attached to your Alice band and all of that so but in this case I'm using an elastic band and I already attached and then I felt like it was looking too simple let me just add some feathers so I came back to do a video 
and explain to you how or show you how I added my feathers using my UHU glue in this case. So somehow I feel the feather gave it a better look, a more sophisticated look. Is it sophisticated? No, that's not the word. Um, it gave it a richer look. Yes, looks simple but classy at the same time. Yeah, I think the feather made it look more beautiful. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section. Would you have preferred it without the feather or with the feathers? So watch closely and see that I'm putting the feathers in between my embellishments, okay? And then I'm pressing the embellishments down. Remember when I embellished, I made sure the tiny roses, I placed them on both sides of um, each point of the fascinator, okay? So in between those two roses that are attached to each other, I placed feathers inside, okay? I placed the stem of the feather inside. So our beautiful fascinator is ready. And thank you so much for watching, especially if you watched up till this point. Please like, comment, share, and I'll see you in my next video next week. Bye!